Hi, Ken here. If you want to experience an urban wilderness, visit Jones State Forest in Conroe, Texas. This video is one in a series about the forest. Today's video shows an experiment to improve the habitat for endangered red cockaded woodpeckers. These birds are unique in excavating nests and roosts in living pine trees. It takes up to one year or more for the birds to excavate a nest cavity. To increase the number of cavities, sometimes artificial cavities are inserted into the trees. The artificial inserts are made from eastern red cedar with holes drilled in them similar to a natural cavity. A chunk is cut out from the living tree and the insert is placed so that the front of the insert is flush with the tree. Unfortunately, flying squirrels use both the natural and artificial cavities, causing the birds to leave. This video shows how a vacuum squirrel sucker was used to safely remove the squirrels. The squirrels were then relocated to a forest that was not inhabited by red cockaded woodpeckers. We expect that this action will increase the number of endangered red cockaded woodpeckers at Jones State Forest. Well, I, I understand you're here to, to see the uh, woodpeckers and what's happening today. Could you tell me a little bit about your interest in the forest and uh, why you're here today? Well, we're very, very happy to be here today. We live or just bought a house right at the edge of the forest. And being so close to the forest was one of the selling points. We're very interested in birding and we're intrigued by hearing about this experiment today. Uh, we've signed up for the Texas Master Naturalist Program and because we were on that list we were informed that they're going to be trying to do an experiment today to improve the habitat for the red cockaded woodpecker. So we're anxious to see how successful that is and what they're able to do. <laughs> Not everybody gets to use these vacuums like this. A couple years ago, I saw a talk where some folks in Arkansas were using a vacuum to get the flying squirrels out. And since my, uh, uh, my record is only about 50, here's your, here's this, there's only about 50% of getting these squirrels out. I said, oh, that would be great for cleaning out the cavities and for getting those squirrels out of there. And, uh, and hopefully find an easy way. So I talked to them and they gave me recommendations on what kind to use. And, uh, the Hartwood chapter of Texas Master Naturalists here took that upon themselves as a project to buy me the vacuum cleaner. Well, also it was because we were selected as a site, as we cleaned up the area, we were selected as a site to bring in new genetic stock. So we're hoping that will happen. Uh, so if, if we, yeah, if we get to bring some in, then we can use these cleaned out cavities and uh, to put the new birds in. Yep. Yeah, Donna is using the peeper scope to see if flying squirrels are in this woodpecker cavity. Okay, Donna, what do you see in there? We do have a flying squirrel in here. It's a little fuzzy, hard to see in the picture, but that's because it's close to the camera. And uh, I could, but I can see it breathing and I can see the fur. Um, there possibly is more than one in here with it being this close to the camera and it's not unusual to have two, three or more in the cavity. I've seen four before, some people have found even more than that. But there is a flying squirrel in this cavity so we will try to extract this and maybe the red cockade woodpeckers will come back to using this tree. Good day. 
screens keep flying squirrels out of the cavity until new red cockaded woodpeckers are introduced. These little screens, we also use them if we're moving birds from one place to another. If we moved a bird in here one evening, then I would put this up so it wouldn't freak out. And leave. I understand that the population at Jones Forest has declined. Any hazard to guess as to why? It could be a lot of reasons, but probably a lot of it has to do with genetics. Since we are surrounded by urbanization around us and we're not getting an influx into our gene pool here, it's probably uh, that that we're not getting new blood into our, uh, into our groups here. Uh, there are some on the same Houston National Forest and on private properties you know, a ways away, but they could come here and find this place. But if we're not getting that input from other populations and bringing in new breeders, then the population is going to decline. Our birds could die from old age. Uh, another way to take care of that would be to bring birds from another population and bring them in here to, to our population to help enhance the gene pool and help to build up the populations that we have here. So probably just because we're we're not totally isolated, but pretty isolated with all the growth around us and uh, limited amount of property here and limited amount of influx from other populations. Unfortunately, no new birds were available for transfer to the Jones State Forest this year, maybe next year. However, with the aid of the vacuum, we are better able to manage the flying squirrels.